So first of our written answers now, and it's got three parts to it. So we're just going to have a look at part one, where we're trying to find the uh, velocity uh, that the ball is launched horizontally. Now we've got this catapult, so I'm just going to draw a pic quick picture of how I visualised it. So there's the spring, and there's the massless cup, and there's the mass sitting in the massless cup. And it has initially a length uh, of length L. And then the catapult is extended backwards, and it's extended backwards, there, there's the uh, massless cup again, and it's been extended to a length of x. So the amount by which it's extended is x minus l. So I just made our diagram a little bit smaller, just moved it to the side there. And to answer this question, to find the velocity, we're uh, going to find the elastic potential energy uh, that is stored in this spring, and we're going to equate it to the kinetic energy, uh, and then find the velocity that way. So the elastic potential energy uh, is given by half k delta x squared. And it's important to note that when I'm using... Uh, uh, delta x here. I'm not talking about the uh, x of our diagram. Uh, I'm just talking about how you might read it in a textbook. Uh, but our delta x in this case is x minus l. So our elastic potential energy is half k x minus l squared, and we've equated it to the kinetic energy half mv squared. So we've just cancelled the half there uh, to give us k x minus l squared equals mv squared and now we just need to solve it for v so we're going to divide both sides by the m there to give k over m x minus l squared and that's equal to the velocity squared so we just need to square root both sides and that gives our velocity equal to the square root of k over m x minus l Second part of the question involves us finding the vertical velocity of the catapult. So I've just turned our diagram to the side there. And again, we're going to do it using the elastic potential energy. And we're going to equate it to the kinetic energy. But this time, there's the added complication of there being the catapult needing to do some work against gravity uh, to lift it back up to that equilibrium position. So some of the force, so I'm just labelling it there. So to, uh, that is the gravitational potential energy. That's the work done against gravity in lifting it back up to that e equilibrium position. So the elastic potential energy that's stored minus that little bit of work done, minus that gravitational potential energy, uh, will give us the kinetic energy. So this one's a little bit more involved because it does involve this added complication of that gravitational potential energy. So our elastic potential energy, just as before, is a half k x minus l squared. And our gravitational potential energy is going to be the mass times acceleration due to gravity times the height uh, that it's lifted through. And later on, I'll exchange the, I'll substitute the height for x minus l. And our kinetic energy there is half mv squared. So, first step that we're going to do, we're trying to find the uh, vertical velocity. So, we're going to divide both sides by a half and divide both sides by m. So that gives us uh, k over m, x minus l squared, minus 2gh. And that's going to be equal to the velocity squared. So we need to find the square root of that. So it's the square root of k over m, 
x minus L squared minus 2GH. And that gives us our velocity. And at this point, I'm just going to rewrite it uh, just by substituting the h for h for x minus l, because that distance h, in this case, is x minus l. So final answer for velocity is the square root of k over m x minus l all squared minus 2g x minus l. In the last part of this question we need to find the height that the ball reaches when it's fired vertically and to do that we're going to use the kinetic energy uh, that the ball has when it leaves the uh, this massless cup and we're going to equate that to the gravitational potential energy. So our kinetic energy half mv squared is going to equal the mass times acceleration due to gravity times the height. So the height is what we're looking for. And if we rearrange this, the m's cancel, uh, so we end up with the uh, height is equal to the velocity squared over 2 times acceleration due to gravity. Um, so if we use the value for or the expression we had for v squared from last from last question uh, then what we have is k over m x minus l squared minus 2g x minus l but we've also got that 2g so let's put that at the bottom of the fraction as well and what we can do is just rewrite this, cancel in those, uh, those two g's in that second term there to give us uh, k over 2mg x minus l squared. The 2g has been cancelled, leaving just x minus l there.